As the temperatures drop, flu and cold cases start picking up. Kelloland Sydney Thorson shows us how keeping your kids healthy can keep them in school. So far this school year, South Dakota has eight confirmed cases of influenza. The number is only expected to grow. The flu season is coming. We just have not seen very much of it. And with the influenza, it, it um, can make a kid sick really fast. So they can feel fine in one moment and then not in a couple of hours. If your child gets the flu, Satara Thompson says it's best to keep them home. We want kids here at school and we want them in class and we want them fully um, engaged so that they can academically get as much as they can out of school. However, when they are truly sick, truly not feeling well, they're not going to be engaged in school. However, too many sick days can cause a child to fall behind in school which only stresses the importance of keeping your child as healthy as can be. The issue with today's classroom is that the rich learning that takes place happens during the collaboration, the problem solving, the conversations that kids have together, which cannot be recreated or replicated for kids to do when they come back. So staff and students at Grandview Elementary ask everyone to cover your mouth when you cough and always wash your hands. So it's really a partnership where we work together with parents and students so that we can all be healthy and be happy and learn and grow and be successful adults in the 21st century. In Rapid City, Sydney Thorson, Kelloland News. And influenza isn't the only illness out there right now. Rapid City school nurses say to be on the lookout for strep throat, chicken pox, and the common cold. It's always